liquid methamphetamine in the gas tanks of cars, and more meth packed into a rental truck. These images show just some of the ways federal authorities say a sophisticated trafficking ring has been bringing millions of dollars worth of drugs into California. This uh, operation was the culmination of four years of teamwork and the FBI's dogged determination and strong investigative work. FBI Assistant Special Agent Jonathan Snow and U.S. Attorney Philip Talbert announced charges have been filed against 22 people, mainly from Los Angeles County, accused of moving drugs from Mexico into the U.S. and distributing them across the country, including here in the Central Valley. Investigators say the suspects have also stuffed meth, cocaine, and fentanyl into portable projectors and batteries and smuggled them under the guise of legitimate transportation businesses. Once the drugs were inside the United States, members of the organization received and stored them in stash houses and then packaged and transferred or delivered them for further distribution in California and to other states across the country. In total, Operation Toxic Waste led to the seizure of nearly 13,000 pounds of methamphetamine and over 50 pounds of fentanyl mixture along with cocaine, heroin and 35 firearms. As of Monday, 15 people have been arrested, mainly at the California-Mexico border. The other seven individuals are still at large. If convicted, the individuals could face 20 to 40 years behind bars, and some suspects could face life sentences. The defendants are charged with conspiring to distribute and to possess with the intent to distribute methamphetamine, fentanyl, and cocaine. And some of the defendants are also charged with individual counts of distributing and possessing those drugs. More than 200 law enforcement agents were involved in sweeping the drugs off the streets. As the investigation continues, Talbert wants people in the Central Valley to be aware of how dangerous the drugs can be. Fentanyl now accounts for about two-thirds of the over 100,000 annual overdose deaths in the United States. It can kill in very small amounts. Only two milligrams of fentanyl is a potentially lethal dose. In Fresno, Vinci Barra, ABC 30 Action News.